Good evening guys, it's George again, um, welcome back, um, so yeah, um, happy good Friday um, from me to you guys, um, I hope you are having a, a fantastic day uh, and looking forward to the, the weekend ahead, um, so yeah, so this is a, a kind of follow up to the video that I did um, when I kind of restarted my channel, um, it was the one on how to delete the GCC file drop user account that a lot of you found very interesting. Now, to be honest, that video was pretty poor from myself. The audio was crap, the video was crap, um, etc, etc. So I'm kind of following this one, that one up with this one. Um, some of you have asked, obviously, that their um, Gigabit Control Center has not been working properly and or um, they obviously wanted to add some stuff via um, the, the control center. So this is a, a kind of tutorial on how to do that. Um, I have the latest version, but if you guys don't, or if it's not working properly, what we'll do just now is I will show you how to uninstall it, reinstall it, and then obviously that lets you into what you want to use. Um, so first of all, um, we will uninstall this. Now there's two ways to do it. You can click on the bottom right and you'll have your GCC down on the bottom right hand side panel. You can either right click on it, um, you can close it, which I normally do first, or you can literally go to bottom left and go to control panel, open control panel. Um, we will go to programs, um, programs and features um, we will find GCC which is there and it's on the latest level okay I was doing a bit of testing on it so that one's there we will click uninstall you guys won't see this you click yes to uninstall it and then it'll come back saying do you want to uninstall um, the control center and just say yes then it'll come back with um, some more stuff like this. I'll bring these over as you can see here. Um, you click yes again and OK. And once again, yes. And once again, OK. And this one again will be yes. And OK. And it'll come back saying um, that we just OK once more. And that's it gone from your PC. So you can obviously refresh this, um, but there's no need to as it's totally gone. Now, we'll leave that running just now. Um, so to find Gigabit Control Center, just pull up any um, page that you obviously use, Firefox, Chrome, Edge, anything like that, and type in gigabit.com. Um, uh, control center and click enter, search for that. It's literally the first one that comes up. If you can't find it, there'll be a link in the description. Just click on that and it'll bring you to this page. Now, all you need to do to install it is click download now. Um, this brings up the list of the compatible stuff um, that the control center works on. Uh, I'm using the AMD 670 platform um, and I've got a 5950X uh, in my machine with a 3090 running 64 gig of RAM. So make sure that the, <coughs> the software is compatible with what you're running. Um, just double check that. You can obviously scroll down the bottom here you can um, find out and um, monitor um, the gigabit uh, model name, etc, etc. Um, these are all SSDs because um, obviously you've got RB RGB and stuff like that. You've got memory, um, you've got keyboards, you've got mouses, you've got the cases, PSUs with RGB. Everything that can run on the, the gigabit center will be available down the bottom. If you have any of these, just take your time, scroll through everything and see if it's available in there. Okay. Um, once you're happy and you're ready to install the center, just click on download down the bottom. Um, 
that will download into a zip file just let it do its stuff so that's it obviously downloaded we will now open that um, it brings you into this and then we will open um, the file which is the 23030201 and this is the latest version as of the 7th of April 2023 so what we'll do is we will install that by double clicking it um, this brings up the <coughs> the Microsoft verified app kind of installer um, obviously um, Microsoft doesn't see it as a legitimate app it will warn you if you want to install it or not um, and as you know it is legit so you just click install anyway you then click yes you guys won't see this um, I don't think OBS um, records it so click yes to install it Uh, then click accept to obviously agree to the license um, if you want to obviously do um, do the tutorial you can obviously do it um, from here but I genuinely skip this um, then we want to go down to the bottom left here with the two little kind of circle arrows you click on the update center I'll do a skip again The center will then come back and give you all this here. Um, we basically click check. Okay, this checks them all. Okay, but you need to go through them and find out what you need and what you don't need. Okay, now top tip of advice: you a hundred percent do not need the Norton Internet Security. Do not install this. Okay whatsoever um, what I need <coughs> excuse me for my machine I need the control center which you guys will need as well so leave that checked I need RGB fusion leave that checked I don't need the storage library so the storage library is provides the product detection and basic function control to gigabyte DRAM and SSDs I do not need that um, so uncheck it the gigabit um, MB update library, uh, you can obviously check that to see what it is. Uh, gigabit motherboard update library, we don't need that. Uncheck that. Um, I do need the gigabit motherboard RGB tool. I'll leave that checked there. I do need that. Um, gigabit performance library, let's see what that is. <coughs> Um, obviously this is for overclocking and fan control, I don't need that as I've got um, other stuff doing that for me. Um, now this stuff you may need, so again you'll need to go through it and decide if you need it for your um, your device. So this I don't need, the Bluetooth driver I don't need, that's already installed. The Intel Wi-Fi I, I do not need because I'm doing AMD. The chipset is all updated, I do not need that. The Realtek High Definition Audio Driver, I don't need that, that's already done. The Realtek Dragon, what's that again? Right, so the Realtek Dragon is, it's a kind of, it's a little bit of software that can tell you um, what's the bandwidth, what's been used on your system, say you're gaming and you're you're playing Fortnite or whatever, um, you can basically tell what Fortnite is pulling down, bad uh, bandwidth um, kind of um, um, specs, so say if you're pulling down, I don't know, <coughs> um, 8 megabits of bandwidth coming down and 2 or 4 up, it'll tell you all that details. I don't bother with this. Um, I've got a crap connection, and I try not to game on it as much. But if you've got something that you need, obviously you you want to look at the specs and everything coming down or up. This is a little bit of software for you. So I do not need that. Just uncheck that. And <coughs> I can't remember what this is. Speed utility again. Just do a Google on that. I can't remember what that is, but 
I know I don't need it. I know I need three, and that's the Gigabit Motherboard RGB tool, the RGB Fusion, and the Gigabit Control Center. So I basically click Install. And remember guys, this obviously goes for if your Control Center doesn't work. Just uninstall it, and then reinstall it this way as well, and pick off what you need, and that will take you to the latest version. Um, so let's wait until this installs. Just click accept to agree. Yeah, I had this last time. It looks like for some reason it installs one at a time. I do not know why. So we'll try and install these two at the same time, see what happens. We'll go install. And it looks like it's picked off both of these at the same time. Um, it should install them at the same time, but it looks to me like it installed the, um, the GCC first before it installed these. So it's basically... Oh, it's also installing um, AMD Ryzen Master. It looks like I've missed that one, but that's fine. I can obviously delete that at a later time. That's not a problem. Here is where you can obviously cancel or exit or, you know, I don't want to install the AMD Master. Um, I do my overclocking, etc. via the BIOS, so I can just exit out of that. This brings you into the RGB Fusion, which is what I need. We'll just skip this. And from here, you can go into your motherboard, um, your RAM, your CPU, etc. Um, and change everything to white, um, red, yellow, green, blue, whatever. It's entirely up to you. You can play about with it. Um, currently, I've got mine to um, it's set it blue at the moment. I'm going to set it to white because uh, I do like white, and that's everything on my right hand side. White. Um, if you've obviously got RAM that's compatible, it will show up here also. Um, and that's pretty much it guys it's a simple little bit of um, software that can control obviously all your RGB just make sure it's plugged into the motherboard um, one of the headers on the motherboard and you'll be good to go so yeah um, that's it guys um, there's not a lot into it um, if it doesn't work uninstall it reinstall it again and then have a play about with it um, making sure obviously it's the right one you choose it's the right version and when you go into the update center um, with here and um, just click on the the check box at the top and then that way you can select and pick off what you want to install um, there's only three bits that i needed the rest of it i don't need um, top tip though do not install the norton internet security just don't do it okay so on that note, guys, I will leave you to it. Have a good weekend. Um, have a play about with this um, and let me know how you get on. So all right, guys, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. See ya.